This morning, more trouble at Palm Charter High School where details are coming to light about the new principal's past. Now, Michaela Evans joining us in the studio this morning, digging into a now settled workplace lawsuit and how the suit came to our attention. Michaela. Lauren Darion, good morning. Palm Charter parents actually pointed this lawsuit out to us, claiming they no longer trust the school board to make decisions and felt forced to vet the new principal themselves. Any other time you may not have ever had any of this come up. Don't know. But because of the way that this board is doing, they have caused this. A former Massachusetts high school librarian filed the lawsuit in 2020, claiming once Peterson became principal in 2016, he created a hostile work environment towards women and older staff members. She says Peterson provided less resources, training and opportunities. And for the first time, she received lower performance evaluations before getting fired. Now, Palm Charter parents say they hope Peterson takes accountability so they can move forward and start fresh. When you have a record, you have to own it just got to own it and move on. And we're trying to work a path forward to move on. But in that path, we've got to get rid of the current board. Peterson settled last year for an undisclosed amount. We asked board chairman Ray Hicks if he knew about the suit before hiring Peterson, but declined to comment. Peterson tells me he cannot comment, but is ready to focus on Palm Charter students and stay positive moving forward. Live in studio, Michaela Evans, WMBF News.